What it do, Trap Fam? Your boy Kevin is back with another Traptastic recipe. We're making fried chicken and waffles, but hey, we're doing it with a trap twist. We're coating that chicken in some seasoned ramen flour, and we're actually gonna be using ramen for the waffles as well. So stay tuned and check it out. All right, guys. So first thing you gotta do is get yourself some instant top ramen noodles. So we got the maruchan right here, creamy chicken flavor. And not only are we gonna use the noodles, we're gonna use that seasoning pack. So let's go ahead and pop it and take it out. There it is. As you guys can see, it's that creamy chicken flavor. And this is perfect. We're gonna use that to season up the chicken. Now I know what you guys are thinking. We gotta soak that chicken in buttermilk, but not nah, uh-uh. This creamy chicken is gonna give that flavor, that seasoning and spices, and the creaminess of the buttermilk. So let's go ahead and pop one of these open, and let's put it into our bowl. We're actually gonna be using two packs two ramens and two creamy chickens. We got chicken thighs. I really like thighs. I think it's way more juicy. It's got the skin, so it gets nice and crispy. And we just like dark meat in my family. You can let me know in the comments below if you guys like white meat or dark meat for your fried chicken. So we got the seasoning blend right here. Trap seasoning blend, creamy chicken maruchan. Let's go ahead and let's season them up. Just go ahead and use your fingers. And like I said, you got the creamy chicken flavor, so that's gonna be tasting like some buttermilk fried chicken right there. Don't be shy with the seasoning too. We don't like bland fluid up in the trap house right here. Get that all coated up in there. We're gonna let it sit and marinate for a little bit of time. All right, now we got a little bit extra. We're gonna season our flour with that. Our ramen flour, that is. All right, while that chicken is marinating and all that creamy chicken flavor, let's go ahead and work on our flour mixture. So we're gonna get a ramen block and we're gonna put in our food processor. Now, if you guys don't have a food processor, you can always use a magic bullet blender cup or just go ahead and put it in a bag, smash them up, that works fine too. Use what you got, guys, we're in the trap. So get that lid locked on and then we're gonna pulse it and break it up. All right, Trap Fam, you guys can go ahead and take a look. Now, now that's powdery, that's what we want. We can go ahead and season this up with a little bit of our ramen seasoning right there. And get that all incorporated in there. One last blend. All right, guys, so we got that chicken. We got the ramen uh, powdered fine little powder now. Now let's go ahead and dump it into our plate. Seasoned ramen flour right there. That ramen's gonna add a nice flavor and a nice crunch to our fried chicken. But you gotta have the basics too. So we're gonna have flour, an egg wash, and then the ramen. For the last remainder of the ramen seasoning, we're gonna go ahead Put that into our flour and mix it up by hand, okay? Now at this point, you can add some pepper, some garlic too, I really like that. Hit it with a little bit of garlic. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a secret. We're gonna be dipping it, the chicken in some flour, the egg wash, and then the ramen. But unlike a normal egg wash, I got a trap secret for you guys. We're just using the egg white. I'm gonna show you guys how we crack our eggs, separate the white and the yolk, and we're just using the egg white to dip this chicken in. So we're gonna separate it into our bowls, just the egg white. We'll save that yolk and just use that for something else, maybe some Vietnamese egg coffee. Egg yolk up in there, let's do another one. Now this is gonna give us a real extra crispy coating and it's gonna help those ingredients really bind to the chicken so your coating doesn't just fall off. All right guys, now we got a little assembly line made up. We got the chicken seasoned up, creamy chicken buttermilk flavor. We got our flour, our egg white wash, our ramen flour, and we got a wire rack. We're gonna let the chicken sit for about 10 minutes before we fry it, just let everything bind, all right? So, get your chicken guys, coat it in that flour, get that all nicely coated right there. See how that flour just binds to the chicken real nice? Then we're gonna go ahead Get it into our egg wash. 
that's all evenly coated into the ramen batter. That's gonna be crispy. That's gonna be like some panko breadcrumbs, man. Y'all know about that panko? And right here, let it rest. Into that seasoned flour. One little secret is right hand for the dry ingredients, left hand for the wet. That way you don't get club hands. All right guys, now that oil is hot, let's go ahead and let's put our chicken up into that pan. Hear that sizzle? We can bomb trap chicken right there. All right guys, so it's been about 20 minutes. You get about between seven to nine minutes on each side, depending on how thick that chicken thigh is. We don't want to overcook it, but chicken thighs are very forgiving. A lot of dark meat, a lot of juiciness and fat up in there, so that's gonna be a really good one. So now you guys can see it's a beautiful color on both sides right there. Perfect skillet fry. We're gonna take it and transfer it to our wire rack. This will allow it to cool without sitting in oil and making it soggy. So that's how you're gonna keep a crispy crust the whole time there. All right, now we put a little plate underneath it just so we don't get our kitchen counter too messy right here. Look at that beautiful color on both sides. That guys, beautiful golden brown crust, evenly coated on both sides right there. We're gonna let that chill out while I show you guys how to make the ramen waffle right here, the trap waffle. Ooh, wait. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, throw our block of ramen up into the pot of boiling water. We're gonna let it boil for about two to three minutes. So we got our ramen drained all the water. You can touch it because if it's too hot to touch, it's gonna be way too hot to put the egg in because you don't want to make scrambled eggs. You want to make a ramen waffle. So now let's go ahead. We got our sugar right here. We're gonna put about two spoonfuls of sugar, just depending on how, how sweet you like it. All right, got our sugar. Get that all incorporated up in there. All right, stir that all up. And then we're gonna crack an egg up in here. You see this? That's gonna help that ramen bind together too. That egg go. Whip it up in there. While we do that, let's plug in our waffle iron. Let that thing get real nice and hot. Get the egg all up in the ramen. You don't want scrambled eggs, you want ramen waffles. Man, it look good enough to eat just like that actually. But we not. All right, trap fam, you guys see that right there? We got the green light on the waffles. About to take these waffles out. Now that the green light is out on them. 
All right, open that up. Smoking hot waffle iron right there. Okay, let's spread it out. Let's make sure we get some love evenly. All right. Spread that love. Let's push it. Now we're gonna let it cook till that green light comes back. All right, guys. So about five, 10 minutes, the waffle iron knows best. So we're gonna go off the waffle iron. All right, that light just popped. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see what we're working with here. As you guys can see, nice golden brown color. That's what we like here at the trap house. The trap bistro, I should say. And you can see that ramen all running throughout. Let's go ahead and let's serve it on up. Serve that waffle right here. Now, if you're from LA, you might have heard of Roscoe Chicken and Waffles, but unless you came by to the Trap Bistro, I'm sure you never heard of ramen fried chicken and waffles. That's ramen seasoning, seasoning up the chicken. That's crushed ramen flour as the breading, and that's waffles straight out of ramen noodles. Pull up to the Trap Bistro, get you a plate. Hope you guys like this trap recipe. Let me know how it turns out when you guys try it at home. Let me know what that mouth do, Trap fam. Till next time, Trap Bistro out. Hey guys, so today it's Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. So Kevin from Trap Bistro made me some chicken and waffle. So it's trap style though. It's with ramen. Come a little closer. So I'm going to do a taste test. And we'll find out if it's trapalicious. I got my Dr. Pepper here. Got my ramen fried chicken and my ramen waffles. So I like a little hot sauce and I like a little bit of maple syrup on mine. Just doing one. And then I like it on the side so I can dip it. Let's drop a small piece up and taste it. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Ugh. Let's try it. I like the skin. A little hot sauce. Mmm. A little waffle. Mmm. Really good. Mmm. It's really juicy. I'm surprised how juicy it is. And the outside is so crispy. It's actually better than Roscoe chicken and waffles. That's the truth. Trap. Trap.